What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite Android automation hacks and apps that will make your smartphone even smarter. The first app we're going to look at is called If This Then That and this allows you to create recipes so if you do a certain thing then something else will happen. There's an almost infinite number of applets which will let you automate loads of different processes. One of my favourites allows you to automatically upload pictures to Twitter whenever you upload them to Instagram. Now you can share stuff via Instagram to Twitter and Facebook. The only issue is it doesn't share natively so it shares as an Instagram share which means you don't get the full media appearing in the tweet and it just doesn't look as neat as it does when you use this applet. Now in the modern world one of the first things you do when you go to a friend's house is you attach your phone onto their Wi-Fi network. But what if you could automate that whole process? And this is where QR codes come in. If you go to the website linked in the description, you can make your own QR code which will automatically have your SSID and your password saved onto it. You can then download the QR code and print it off. And then if people want to connect to your Wi-Fi network, all they need to do is scan that QR code with the barcode scanner app on their phone and their phone will automatically be connected. Next on this list we have MacroDroid and this is one of my favourites because it's incredibly easy to use and there's a huge repository of pre-made recipes that you can just download and automatically apply. So I'm going to show you some of my favourites. The first one is called Automate Auto Rotate. This will let you set your phone so that it will automatically start auto rotating when you're in a specific app. So for example if you're in Netflix or YouTube or even an app like the camera where you want to be able to auto rotate it will automatically turn that on for you. Then when you leave that app and you go back to your launcher or if you're using something else that you don't need to auto rotate it will automatically turn it off. Next is Torch When In Dark which is another macro droid macro which will allow you to shake your phone to turn your torch on. But the awesome thing with this is it only works when you're in the dark and then if you turn the light on it will automatically turn the torch off for you. The final macro droid macro that we're going to look at today is called Flip To Mute and this just means you can turn your phone over on the desk and it will automatically mute any incoming call. Most people carry their phones around all the time regardless of where they are and it is really useful to be able to get your phone to recognise when you're at home or when you're at work or when you're at a friend's house. Llama not only recognises where you are based on cell network towers but it allows you to automatically change all of your phone settings. So for example if you're at work you can have it so your phone will automatically be muted for all incoming calls but then of course you could add your boss as an exception to this or any of your co-workers. Not only can you customise all of your sound profiles, you can turn off Wi-Fi, you can connect to a specific Wi-Fi network, you can turn Bluetooth on and off, you can make it launch a specific application when you set off home, you can make it text your loved ones when you set off home from work, you can essentially automate anything you want based on your location. Next on this list we have Smart Lock, and this is a setting which is built right into your Android phone. And this will allow you to automate different aspects of security on your phone. The first automation setting is on-body detection and this means your phone won't automatically lock if you put it into a handbag or put it into your pocket. It will only lock if you place it on a table. Next is trusted places and this is the setting that I use the most. It allows you to set your phone so it will automatically be unlocked when you're at home. This means you get all the security of having a lock on your phone but you don't need to bother with it when you're at home and you're not worrying who's going to pick it up and you're not worrying that it's going to be stolen. And similarly with trusted devices you can set your phone up so if it's connected to a device like a smartwatch or a set of bluetooth headphones it will automatically assume that it's next to you and it will remain unlocked. And then finally you can use trusted face which means that if you pick your phone up it will recognise that it's you and it won't present you with a passcode. However, if someone else picks your phone up, it'll know that it's not you and you will have to unlock it. Next on this list we have Lock Watch, and this will automatically send you a photo as well as the location of your phone if someone tries to unlock it multiple times and gets the code wrong. This gives you all the details that you need to try and get your phone back and it will send them all automatically in an email. Finally on this list is Android's automatic sound preferences. To get to these you just need to pull down your notification bar, go into your sound profiles and then hit more settings. From here you can set automatic rules so that your phone will automatically go into silent mode at night. The cool thing with this is you can have it set up differently for different nights. So for example you can have it set for your weekdays and then have a separate one for your weekend. 
Those are some of my favorite automation hacks for Android. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any favorites as well, and I'll be sure to include them in a future video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. And you can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description. Peace.